the invisible population here in Chicago, the thousands of people who have no permanent place to live. But a group of middle school students at the HSA Belmont School on the city's northwest side is looking for solutions. And ABC 7's John Garcia tells us they have designed and built a portable shelter. At first glance, it looks like some sort of a vehicle made of plywood with wheels and attached by a tow rod to a bike. It's even got a little door, a couple of windows, and enough room to sleep in. Also, store some of your possessions. And anyone using this likely has few possessions, and this would be the place that they would call home. 11 and 12 year old students designed and built this as a portable homeless shelter. It's to help them have a, like a warm place to stay, somewhere where they can relax and not being cold. Even if we're not buying them a mansion or a three bedroom home, this is a, somewhere they can stay, they can sleep, they can, they can have a piece of humanity. The project is the brainchild of their teacher, Peter Legrand, an engineering teacher. He wants the kids to apply what they learn to try to solve social issues. Initially, I thought we would be at this for three or four weeks, and it became clear that there was something much bigger going on, that they, they really wanted to change the world. It's increasingly difficult for the homeless population in Chicago to find shelter. The director of the Chicago Coalition for the Homeless says there are more than 16,000 homeless people on the streets and in shelters in Chicago. I think it's great for the school to engage kids in thinking about homelessness and what it means. The students have named this structure HOPE. Their teacher says he can relate. I have uh, experienced some homelessness personally, and I can, I can say that uh, that's, that's what really makes a difference is, is giving hope. All of the materials involved, including the bike which was donated, cost about $150. The school believes this is a prototype which could be mass produced. Either way, their teacher says it's been quite an education. In the Belmont-Cragen neighborhood, John Garcia, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.